coordinator with the PBA. Norm Duke showing some of his personality. He's just a personable young man, and uh, he's struggling out here. You know, Vespi's off to a big game possible, 280. However, Norm Duke can make it at least respectable with uh, a finish of six strikes and could be a 210. And the way Vespi can throw open frames, it's an outside chance, but he has to strike right here. Now the fans are starting to get behind the popular 28-year-old right-hander from now from Oklahoma City. Got some from anywhere. Well, Del Ballard, a question. You're bowling a championship round. You've been there many a times. And uh, Vespi, who uh, <laughs> just even looked up the announce booth, says, what are these guys saying about me? Uh, he's had four balls cross over and received a, ward for, a reward for three of them with strikes and no opens. What do you think? Well, he may be letting up right now because he's so far ahead of the match. But I'll tell you what, you really have to stay aggressive because uh, that title is what means, not this match right here. Good point. Oh, a Ted Finn for Bob Vespi, originally from Albany, New York, Plantation, Florida, star. Three in a row today for Vespi. Do continue to have problems as we remind you the next Saturday ABC Sports begins live weekend coverage of one of Gauss premier events. Defending champion Jack Nicholas, Arnold Palmer, Lee Trevino, and Chichi Rodriguez take aim for the national title. It's the U.S. Senior Open Golf Championship, 3:30 Eastern, 12:30 Pacific by ABC. Bob Vasby, match in hand. He will be bowling Ron Williams for his first title. Williams, a very tough, kind of a low-profile competitor, has already won two national championships in his career. Norm Duke, stroking along very well, though, has failed to defend his title. So on this championship pair, Norm averaged 243 in two games, and as we indicated, he had two 300s this week. But he'll leave with a sizable check, Nelson. I agree, Chris. Uh, third place finish is always good, but the key to a pro like Norm Duke, who struggled a little bit this winter, he was number one in average last year, is to know your game's on track. And confidence is more important almost than the cash. Since last year, it was incredible. 144,000 earned nine television appearances, number one on the tour. Del Ballard, we've uh, seen Norm Duke struggle a little bit here in the championship round, made a poor guess on how to play the pair. Obviously, his game's intact. I want you to pick me a winner in this last game. Now, you've been great from the number one position. You have Vespi against Williams. I'll tell you what, I think Vespi's going to be the guy to beat because uh, Ron's got to come over here kind of cold turkey. He gets his practice balls and everything, but Bob, Bob's got three matches under his belt. He's really confident. He's loose. He stays aggressive. I think he's the man to beat. How about if he can't hit this right-hand lane? What if he makes another bad shot right here? If he makes a bad shot right here, he's going to start thinking, hey, what do I need to do to make a good shot? See right there, he trusted it to the, a little bit too far to the right because he tugged the one before. And now he's maybe thinking, uh, hey, uh, i got to make too perfect of a shot. And remember, he's finished second three times. You're right, Chris, plus a second in the PBA National Championship a couple of years ago at the resident level. Uh, you want to see an adventure, watch him shoot this 4-8. Uh, he may make it, but it's a, a little bit different angle of attack than most players take. He's exciting. Woo. Del Ballard, there's a, a, a little bit of a controversy, somewhat, and I'm not trying to stir up uh, any uh, real, unreal arguments out here. Of Some of the players uh, don't seem to like Vespi's act. What do you think? I, I personally like him. He's a very aggressive, powerful young man. Well, he doesn't bother me at all. I just think that uh, he's been very successful on amateur level and in the regional level, and he kind of brought it out here uh, early 
and some of the veterans didn't care too much for a new guy coming out kind of showing them up. Well, he definitely has it. We'll see what he has in the